I mean, these cameras. I know, they're the best. They're instant. Because of all of my memory on my computer, but it's great. So what do you use your foot for? Um, I take it on vacations. I use it for myself on tape for auditions. Like, when okay. I'm out of town and I record auditions. It's so easy when you, like, plug it in to, yeah. you know, to edit it together. It makes it so much easier. So talk to me a little bit about the fit of the denim tonight. Is it amazing? It's incredible. And I'm not just saying that. And I didn't know that until I put it on today. Um, it sends over several pairs for every single pair of fit grade. Right? Okay. I mean, it's unusual that you can just say your size and know that every pair is going to fit. Skinny leg jean, it's not. You know, sometimes with skinny leg jeans, you feel like you're sucked into some horrible situation. Right. It's actually very comfortable. So it's nice that you get both the comfort and the look that you want. I'm sorry, how would you describe your personal style? And I would say it's very simple, but eclectic. You know, I'm someone who dresses to my mood, so uh -huh. if you look at my closet, it would seem confusing. You know, there are days that I'm a little edgier and in like kind of a more of a rocker leather coat and boots, and some days I'm in a more girly dress, and some days I'm just in sweats and don't want to deal yeah. with you know putting an outfit together. So um, I'm just someone who, kind of depending on how I feel that day, it will be reflected in what I'm wearing. So you're not scared to go casual, you know? It's kind no, of a nice change, right? I mean, change, if anything, right? I think I always lean that direction. I sort of always, especially lately, I feel like comfort has been sort of the key. Half my closet seems to be James Cross right now. <laughs> I'm always, like, waiting for the new shipment to come in. But like, what other sweatshirt can I get? Like, I need another sweatshirt, you know? <laughs> you just purse, too. So you, you know, I got this. Yeah. This is a purse. It's really cute plus. So. And they do a great thing where they will custom make horses at a private party. So I was at a private party and they pull out like 200 fabrics and you pick all the things. So I picked these fabrics for this style purse. I thought it was such a great idea for a party. I want that fabric on a chair in my living room. <laughs> An accessories girl as well, right? I'm getting there. I feel okay. like that's the department that I'm working on. I feel like, you know, jewelry and purses and things are sort of still catching up in that arena, but I've had enough to sort of satisfy my, my needs at the moment. Ashley and I um, were roommates back in the day. Yeah. We lived in the same building for a while and got to know each other and had several friends in common. And when she moved to her first house, I lived on the first floor of her house. So, um, and, you know, we both have gotten so crazy busy that we don't get to see each other as much as we would like to. And um, like I was doing the Miracle Worker in New York while she was doing Chicago, so I got to see her a bunch while we were in New York, which is great. So whenever we have opportunities to catch up, it's really nice to see each other. Luckily, we had our own space. I am slightly anal, and I'm going to admit that. I, okay. You know, I do believe in everything having its place. Not to say that I'm always capable of maintaining that. Ashley is more a master of chaos. She would know exactly where everything was, even though to anyone else, she would have no idea where something was. She always knew. I've always your best memory living with her. Oh, we had so many fun memories. I mean, we were all just so young and having a good time. It was just nice, especially when we were living in the same building. There were several of us living in the same building. Um, and it was just nice that you come home from the end of the day, and you always knew that you had friends around, and you could just grab a glass of wine, hang out, watch a TV show. It was, it was sort of the spur of the moment fun of just having people around that were fun to be around and that were good friends.